Senators, you've got to write your congressman. That is how we beat DeShay. It was thousands and thousands of people came forward, and this is what we need to do again. You can't just let it go, because if we do, we lose it. Okay. Thank you for your patience, Dwayne. We have talked too long. What's the bill number? I, I have some bills at the back, and we can, uh, we can get, give them to you. Um, Okay. Well, there are people signing petitions all over the world now. As a matter of fact, National Health Federation is international. We are not just in this country now. We are in Europe now, too. So it is with great pleasure that I introduce a very special young man, a young man that I believe God spared because he had a large job for him to do. When someone is at the brink of death, and um, the Lord saves him, and it can only be God, because none of us are God here. We all know a little bit, but God is certainly the one and the only. Dwayne comes to us from Rochester, New York, but he's a Pennsylvania boy, and he's a Penn State guy, so yay from all the Penn Staters. Uh, Dwayne is by profession an engineer. He worked for Xerox, and in March of 2002, he was in a coma. He was dying. And um, I believe it was divine intervention and a, a couple wonderful ladies. I always say behind every good man is a good woman. And Dwayne did have a couple wonderful ladies behind him. His precious mother, Minnie, his daughter, um, and she's here this evening. Uh, Cynthia, would you like to stand? I'd like everybody to see the pretty daughter that Dwayne has. This is Cynthia. She's from our Pittsburgh area. Welcome, Cynthia. <laughs> And your sister's name? Margo. Margo. Okay, and he also has a sister, Margo. Margo could not be with us this evening. But these three ladies, and with the hand of God, this is why Dwayne is here this evening. Dwayne had a blood sugar level of 1,337, so far off the chart that you can't even see it. Uh, he also had um, severe hypoglycemia. He had two blood clots. He was struggling with pneumonia high cholesterol, and he was taking four insulin shots a day. That sounds like somebody's in some real trouble. And because of his uh, engineering and biochemistry background,